It's Mo Tuesday. We're opening up two new snake men coming up after this. Okay, here we go. I think these are the last of the snake men that I have. I mean, there's King Randor and some kind of white ninja guy that I still have left to open. Oh, wait. Yeah, from this wave. So, not really snake men. He's more of a 2000X. And uh, this is one of the unmade figures from Slamurai from the 80s that was in development that never got made. Uh, these two, I mean, Snake Tila, that is 2000X lore for sure. They gave her a snake logo. And then a snake trooper. Uh, also, some kind of crazy lore. Let's open them. Let's look at this comic though first. Love the art. Is there anybody we're getting that we don't know we're getting? No. Uh, who is that? Wait, I don't know. Oh, that's him. That's him being cracked open by Strobo, which well, actually we don't have him. So that's cool to get. My, uh, my actual, uh, he's a, he's a hybrid of a robot from Horde, Horde Trooper. Sorry, why I didn't remember Horde Trooper. I, my Horde Trooper doesn't work. Actually, maybe one of them does work. We'll compare him to the Horde Trooper. And then the Snake Tila, what I don't understand here, baffles me, is she didn't come with the Snake Hood. We're going to have to try on the Snake Hood for sure. Who's here? I opened up him. I love this He-Man. One of my favorite He-Man variants. Very 2000X going on here. So, in this wave, I guess that's what it's about. Or, I guess the 2000X were very big in Snake People. They did release Hordak first uh, this time. They went straight to the Snake Men in the Mike Young cartoon. I don't know what's up with that. I'm uh, really upset and angry recently at this line. I, I do understand why some people have to stop collecting it. I'm practicing my skills of maybe not having everything which is I'm a major completist so this it's destroying me that there are figures that I can't get there's these target exclusive ones I, I just I can't I can't pay outrageous prices for them for one thing on eBay I really want those Sunmen 3-packs. There's two 3-packs now, and I don't know what I'm going to do about those. And then Coldbar, the figure that Mattel did not send me, that was they were supposed to send me, but they sent me Matchbox cars instead, and then there's no getting them anymore because they sent me the wrong toys that I ordered. I was very careful to order. So it's these things that happen. And being in Canada, it makes things difficult. This comic looks awesome. So this is the comic for this series. These are the first two from this wave that I've opened. So this is my first time seeing this comic. Do I have all... I think I got them all from the same place. Do I remember where I got them from? No, I don't. I guess I got them from Big Bad Toy Store which is God sent for me now that I can order everything. She's looking really cool already. I love the cartoon. I remember she was a special order, I believe, from the 2000X. And I still have her, but I'm definitely going to sell my 2000X version of her now that I have this one. And recently announced in Origins is... Filmation versions. Now, I was always going to sell my Super 7. I love what Super 7 does, but again, being in Canada, it it just it infuriates me how expensive they become after they're shipped over here, and then second-party sellers sell them, and 
yeah, it's just there. There's and there's too much of it to collect too. But I am going to sell all of my Super Seven figures that were done in the original style for sure. Because I can cut that rest of that off. We only need one comic to look at because it is the same comic. Oh no! But there's the schematic drawing. Maybe I can pull this out. I don't think it's. Yeah, no, it's of course the comic, but this comic book is super glued in there. Wonder when they're ever going to fix that issue. I don't think they can. I guess a machine does it. So, at least I know that I have one good comic. Oh, this one's really badly glued in. I've been destroying the comic over the card. That perhaps should have been harder on the... Oh, this one's... This one might be the worst. Yeah, I think this is the worst I've ever had. There's a lot of comic missing. Got ripped off in there. Glued in. Let's look at these schematic drawings off the top of the... There it is. Love these. Let's look at her. Snake Tila. I'm hoping that her snake armor from her other figures fit on this. I loved it. Uh, so Tila was always a snake goddess. She always came with that. Snake Trooper. This guy. So I kind of liked it. I kind of, I kind of liked Fantasizing, fantasizing, imagining that she would be put with the snake man that she would become. And then didn't uh, Santa Lucia, he did like for his, for his, a school project or something. Didn't he write a comic book that actually said that Tila, I loved it. I loved that part where Tila joined, cro he crossed sides, and then fell in love with uh, King Hiss. And they really do belong together. Oh, this reminds me of these. I've been sorting them like this, and uh, I need to free up more bins. I don't know if I mentioned this the last time. I'm going to put the factions together, and I'm going to keep my snake men all together. But how do they look? I mean, regular Tila looks fantastic with him anyway, but now that she's... I don't know. I kind of feel like this one is more of a... a, 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 a henchman rather than a romantic interest. Like, she doesn't look like a queen. She looks more like a fighter. So I think her other one with her headdress, but does does her actual headdress? Do I have her? Oh, I have the girls here. I'm not going to just jump into that before even looking at her or reviewing her. Yeah, we want to see. I don't know if we got the sword. Do we have the sword with her before? No, this is the first time we're getting the snake sword. And it really reminds me of the Shira sword. I guess because the gem. And I know this sword, and I guess it's because it came with the 2000X. I love that they gave her a holster for it. That's cool. Or, or do I love that? Because look at that. Hmm. It looks so gimmicky. Maybe I would rather they didn't have that on there, to tell you the truth. This is a big chunk of plastic. It's not done in like a... Yeah. It's it's not done in like a realistic way. It's done in some kind of... That's bizarre. Like it has some other kind of function, like the action feature of some sort. Anyway, that deco on her is incredible. So there's a lot of deco on here, but it's done really cartoony and done really well. Like, it doesn't look like there's any flaws in it. I guess it's stamped on opposed to painted on. And it looks amazing. Look at the inner thighs. Yeah, I like it. So I guess I like my toys to look cartoony. So when paint, when there is lots of paint on it, 
done like this looks great. The red eyes look really great. Uh, let's put the sword in her hand. She holds that very, very well. And then she has her staff in green. And we've got the staff in a few colors so far. But I, just, I always loved that Tila had this snake undertone. And mm, it went away with the filmation cartoon, right? But I always, I never really liked the filmation cartoon. I liked the toys and I liked the barbarian aspect and the mythology aspect of them. So looking really cool. We've got new me things happening here. We've seen those before. You know, there's all around all kinds of cool changes to her. They could have put more snake in there, but maybe like Maybe they did that so they could use it again for somebody else because it's not kind. It looks more like a, a worm than a snake. But yeah, I guess they did do that with thinking how those boots could be used for someone else. I guess somebody else is in mind now. See her? Look out. She's already a snake goddess. So will this... Why didn't they include the... It makes no sense. Tila comes with snake armor yet they did not now putting it over or around her ponytail yeah it still fits on too they must have had the intention of including it but they did not but i mean that's e even better do we have it in a different color or anything no even the green goddess came with the same color and it never really fit on very well. As you can see, her face doesn't fit right in to it. I mean, maybe you can press it a little more. I don't know. I, I guess I, I like it that it's rather better too big than too small. The color isn't so great. We're adding another color to it. I mean, it's kind of the same color as her hair. It's cool. It's cool. she's cool. Kind of, kind of thought would use the green goddess as the snake Tila before. No, they don't look good together. These these guys look best together, if you ask me. And uh, did we get the armor in a different color yet? No, they've always made the armor. All of my Tila swords. I don't know why I have a, a girl box that doesn't really fit. I guess I think I was doing a special video. Anyway, I've put all the, the female characters in some. Oh, we have the new knees versus the old knees I've put in the plastic bag to get out of the way because all of the new knee versions. That is why I did a special new knee video. And of course, she has the new knees, and she has the new knees, and I really wish they would have made the green goddess translucent green plastic, why, or and also I wish they would have made it all one solid color. Maybe we will get more solid color healers down the road. Okay, yeah, so this is the first time we are getting a different color for at least the staff. No shield with this. He usually comes with a shield. They really cheaped out. Well, I guess they didn't. They added lots of really nice deco, even scales to the arms, and they gave her a sword. So I guess in that they had to take away her armor. I can always just use her regular armor. I would have loved to see the armor in a different color, though. And then the sword holder, kind of unnecessary and uh, kind of chunky and not looking so good. They must have done that for another reason. They're definitely going to make another Tila with a sword because they have this armor already made now and it's different too. Oh yeah, I guess I should have paid closer attention to that because that is a whole new sculpted piece. Look at those shoulders on her. Who could they give that to? Some kind of evil in, some kind of um, 2000X evil in, perhaps? 
Who is this for? Who needs a sword holder and uh, shoulder pads? Maybe the snake version had that. The snake version was just a repaint, though. Anyway, lots of new armor. New body torso, new knees for Tila. Going over the articulation doesn't really make sense. We all know, and we all know they come apart, and you can make some match your Tila's to do other things, which is so awesome. Cool, too. Can I rip off her arm? No, maybe your arm doesn't come off. Where's that schematic drawing? Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, her, her arms come off. I like that they're on there nice and tight, though. That's what Tila looks like with her arm off. Can I look at this Horde Trooper? I'm just really going long with these, aren't I? All right, Snake Trooper. All the Tila's back in here. This is going to be the first Tila that I... Oh, a Shira skirt. Don't want to lose that. Shira sword. That I don't put in the female box. We're going to put her right into the, the, snake, the snake box with him. Oh, wow. Okay, here's something that's... The trooper comes with a snake shield. Exactly the same as King Hiss's. That's a really nice bonus. And then it comes with exactly the same um, horde staff, fighting taser kind of thing. And then here he is. Look at this head. Have we seen this head before? This head is... Um, how did I forget this guy's name? That I didn't even realize that it is not Tongue Rasher. Oh, I really thought his head was going to spring down. Rattler. Sky Rat? Rattles? No. Uh, that's so funny. I really thought I could put that down and then press the button. Mine looked exactly like this. I had a yellow neck. Apparently that was the rare version. Okay, so let's see if this works. No, it works just like the trooper that I have. But again, I don't know. It doesn't make any difference to me. It's not like I'm going to be playing with it and then smacking him and hoping that it falls down. That's so funny. Um, I, don't, I, I don't know why that never works. I don't think, I don't hear a lot of people talk about it not it being a problem for them. Anyway, I think we got... I do have this pack that, of course, I never opened, one of those Mattel Creation special ones. I think we might have gotten a Black Trooper in that set. I never opened it. I don't even know where it is. I put it in a, a box, very special and isolated and put away. And um, if, if I can't get everything, I think that's worth a lot, so I probably could sell it because I do have all of those figures. That might be something I might consider so I can use the money to get the um, unique characters like Cool, Coldar, Coldar. I like these things that he comes with. Um, kind of a silly character to have, but uh, he looks great. He matches with the other figures. Let me pull out a word trooper. I did get two word troopers. I'm not one for army building, but the fact that I found both of these in store is the reason I got two. Uh, very, when I was finding these in the store, it was very uncommon for me to find more than one case. I had to be really lucky and find the case when they were putting it out, or I would never find the figures. So I guess I am happy about big bad toy store ordering and stuff like that. Excuse me. These two, I guess, I guess he is um, some kind of spell was put on a horror trooper and he turned into a snake man. And that is the lore behind that. Because a robot coming to life is kind of strange. It's not just a, or maybe it's a disguise. I don't think it's a disguise. He-Man has a disguise. They never made He-Man in a Horde suit yet. I don't know why. That is, um, everybody's one of, everybody loves that from uh, the, from the She-Ra He-Man movie. 
where He-Man dresses up in a trooper outfit. People love to make that custom. Maybe that's why they didn't make it, but I think Mattel could squeeze out some bucks by doing that. Should we do that? I'm going to do that at the end of this video. We're going to have a sneaky man here. I'm going to put his head into that at the end of this video. Hope you like these. I'm also, well, let me show you the comic book before. Very cool. I can't wait to open up those two. I guess that might be next Tuesday. I also have recently gotten Neck and Neck from Amazon. I've got the words in the comic this time because it's not a Canadian comic. Yeah, so I don't know if I want to open up Mechanic or 2000X King Randor, and I guess we should get these out of the way. I also have Tila. Oh, another Tila. The special Tila with Zoar that I need to open. Okay. Um, again, stay tuned to the end. I'm going to put this head on this trooper's body. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Can I do it? Oh. Also, let's put He-Man's head into this body. I love these. Look exactly the same. Okay, I, I don't know what happened there. Oh, oh. oh God, I have to stop. Oh, dropping stuff, okay. He-Man. This isn't the right head. Actually, this is a Snake Man He-Man head. So, this does make the most sense. He looks like the kid from Battlestars Galactica. And you know what that is. This isn't clicking into place. I'm, oh, there we go. There I got a, a pop. Okay, I lied. I'm not even going to put them into the this this look. We can do that in another video. But this, this looks really, really cool. Might have to take a picture of this. Very, very cool. What was that guy's name? That little guy from Battlestars Galactica. Or was he little? The figures, I think he was one of the bigger figures. This looks good.